Hi everybody, my name is Patrick and I own McDonald Timing. And today we're going to talk about the very non-exciting but very important file sharing. So, the thing that comes up every single time I do training with somebody is how do we set up our file sharing? Um, and the answer is simple but it's kind of counterintuitive to a lot of people for some reason. Um, so we save all of our finished links files on our finished links capture computer, straight away. Um, I know that there are some people that, that like to have a split system where they capture on one and evaluate on another. And technically, finished links and the IAAF say that that's actually the way things are supposed to be done. Um, that's not how things are actually done in, in practice though because otherwise you have this long lag time between a race finishing and results being posted so people don't really do that. Um, this, this need is kind of eliminated when you have multiple backup systems uh, which most international events, well, all international events I'm sure do. Um, even most college events at this point have some sort of backup system. Whenever we travel, our high, we have a backup system available to us at a high school event, but uh, we always use a backup system at a college event. So that data is coming in from the finish links cameras directly to one computer and we save it. Um, that's where we read the image as well because we don't split that, that, that negotiation. Um, but basically, that data comes in and we save it all on the Finish Links computer. We get the data for the races in Finish Links from a Meet Management computer. For us, it's Meet Pro. So from here on in the rest of the video, I'm just going to say Meet Pro instead of Meet Management, but anyway, whatever. Meet Pro saves three files. It saves a links.evt file, a people file, and then a schedule file. And it saves those events, or the, those three files, onto the finished links computer, okay? So that Meet Pro computer needs to be able to have access to a, a save, you know, write and read on, a, on, the, on that finished links directory. And we actually use everything in the same directory. So we have a directory called links today. Um, whenever we boot it up, you know, we will copy all the files in that folder and move them over to uh, the spinning drive, the backup drive, basically. So that that you know, links today folder is a, on the SSD. It's super quick storage, and everything goes there. Everything points to that one folder. So links is looking for the database there, and then it's saving, it's outputting everything to that folder. This way, data flows into the finished links computer and trying to save things from going out of the finished links computer. Uh, this is an old time issue because at this point in time we have plenty of bandwidth available to us. Um, and we have plenty of read and write speeds for the SSDs that, you know, on, on our new laptops and everything. But this used to be kind of a concern and then you would you know, have this kind of bottlenecking. Um, to me it's still best practice. So the logic with this is that you can always have the Meet Management and the Meet Pro computer running, rolling, doing its thing, and have the Finish Links computer running, rolling, doing its thing. And if, if that connection breaks, the Meet doesn't break, okay? So the problem is if you are constantly trying to save, in particular what people like to save to the Meet Pro computer, is the LIF file, the links interface file, it's which are in links information files, the results file. They want to send it from the finished links computer over to the Meet Pro computer. So what happens if that connection breaks is that you get an error in finished links saying error writing LIF file. And it's a massive pain in the ass. Uh, because then it doesn't write. Okay, I mean it's literally telling you, hey, we're not doing this. And it's like, well, that's not a big deal. We can just keep going. But you get that every single time. And then that file, that information file, that piece of the, those results are not created. The file isn't created. The results are still there. The results are within the file that Link's created for itself. But we still need to get those results from Link's 
too meat pro or too high tech or too race tab or whatever the heck you're using and that that link is now broken and it's a big big pain in the butt so when you're saving everything to the finish links computer you'll never have that error I'm not going to wait for some random thing but you you will always be able to create that that file so you'll always be able to create you know to keep rolling so the scenarios where things break is if it if it breaks upstream if it breaks from the camera to the finish links computer you're you're screwed anyway and need to stop but if the connection for some reason defaults on the Meet Pro to the finish links computer then you don't have to worry just maybe you you might not have a super accurate race and then you know 10 15 30 minutes down the down the line but you can still keep the meat going you can still keep timing things and finish links in order to create those results files and then when you're ready when the when the meat management the meat pro computer is back up and running you can just go grab and grab and grab and grab and grab and get caught up you know like what should be happening with these two computers is pretty wildly different so this is why it's important the finish links computer only runs finish links my finish links computers don't go on to the web like that's it all they do is boot up and run finish links and that's all ever hopefully ask them to do they don't go to the web they they don't you know they never get on wi-fi they don't do any of these things whatsoever at all the only thing that that plugs into it is a camera and that camera runs and that's it they have a permanently set ip address the Meet Pro computer, though, is running Meet Pro. It's running an FTP you know, software. It's, in some cases, running Dreamweaver. It might be running uh, a couple of other things that we're kind of working on right now. Um, it's, it's, it's doing multi-processes, and so it, it's also exposed to the web. And you know, so sometimes those processes just fart, and all of a sudden, your computer is restarting. So, Keeping that, that computer in some ways cordoned off from your finish links computer is a, a really, really good idea. Um, you know, a lot of people try to run all these things on one computer, and you are welcome to if you want to. Um, you know, sometimes you, you'll see professionals doing something similar where it looks like they're only running one computer. In reality, they might actually be running a virtual machine inside of it. I've seen this before, especially with Mac users are running like a, a VM version of, of Windows to run finish links and whatever. Do what you need to do, but it, if you can ever separate these duties out, it's an incredibly important uh, idea to try to follow up on. So I hope that's help, that helps. So next thing we're going to do though, we are going to show you the, the next little trip that, that, we, that we employ is a mapped network drive. Now maybe you know this and you don't, you don't need the rest of the video and you should turn off right now. But what we do is we will always try to map the network drive from the Meepro computer to the Finish Links computer. So we're looking at the Finish Links computer, we're finding that links today and we're setting it up as a mapped network drive on the Meepro computer. That way we, we roll up and we turn, turn on Meepro, we go into the, the Finish Links you know, settings and all we're doing is setting a drive, Z or V or X or whatever. And we're, we look for it, and it's, and it's always there. We don't have to worry about permissions. That's the next thing. It's like networking with Windows is kind of good sometimes, but like you can even, you know, it, it, it's just a lot easier to have it mapped out and just be able to say, oh yeah, that computer is the V drive. So with every Meet Pro computer that we have, with every Finish Links computer we have, we have a different mapped drive. So, you know, we might have three map drives on most of our, our Meet Pro computers because we run finish links on three different computers, you know? So we have V and W and Z to say, okay, yeah, go, go grab it. Like it's, it's this one this time and, and it's just, it just works. Um, you don't have to worry about permissions. You don't have to worry about logging in most of the time. So that's the next little bit. It's really quick and simple. Hopefully you can find a lot of information about this on the web, but basically we're mapping a network drive from the Meet Pro computer to the Finish Links computer. Okay, so we have two MSI computers here. Uh, this one is 1.21680.5 in line with kind of links, finish links best practices. This one is dot .32. Doesn't really matter what this one is as long as it's not in that kind of single digit range. Uh, so we had to come in today uh, over here and with links today, we had to set it to shared. 
and advanced sharing. Now, um, we, when we actually brought it in, we had to do some additional actions. So we had to, when this showed up in here, we had a little box that said, you know, do you, you know, network sharing is not on and whatever, and we had to accept that. And then we ha there was a little yellow bar that showed up at the very, very top of the screen. We had to set, accept it in there as well. Over on the other computer, we're going to come into network and we're going to go to, into GS60. And when we do, we should go in and be able to see a links today folder because it's been shared. There it is. Beautiful. Uh, all we've got to do is come over here we right clicked on it and then scroll down to map network drive and we're going to call it Z and we're going to make sure that we connect, reconnect that sign in and we're going to finish and then we're good and now you can see all, all of the uh, finish links events from the last time, the last event that we loaded up are in there and we're good to go. So now the Meet Pro machine, this machine right here can send the Meet Pro files, the links files that, that links needs to run to this folder links today on this computer without any issue, no problem whatsoever. It's simple networking, but um, it, do, it can get a little bit more challenging and tricky when it comes to doing a Windows 7 to Windows 10, uh, but that's pretty well covered online. Uh, you might have to do some PowerShell configuration. So thank you for watching. If you have questions, put them down below. If you liked the video, please do us a favor, like, subscribe. Thank you. Take care.